Hello everyone. Welcome you all. Here I am going to discuss working of Ramjet engine. Ramjet engine comes under the category of gas turbines, jet engine and scramjet engines. Here it uses the fuel to burn with a compressor air and produce the burnt gases at a higher pressure and that will uh, cause the propulsion of the vehicle. And here I am going to discuss the specific feature of the ramjet engine which does not have any moving parts in it. And also it is used where the supersonic speed of the vehicle is required. Here I will take first what is meant by ramjet engine, how it works, what are its applications that I am going to discuss. A ramjet engine is a jet engine that uses the forward motion of an aircraft to compress air and create thrust. Here the explanation is taken in consideration of the aircraft. Ramjets are used in aircrafts, missiles that fly at supersonic speeds. And with this diagram we can take the explanation of the ramjet engine working. Here in this one at the entrance the Air is enters into the engine at a supersonic speed when the engine or the whatever the vehicle which, to which this ramjet engine is fixed, for example, aircraft. When the this vehicle is moving forward, during that time only it will work. Initially, when the vehicle is stationary, this ramjet engine will not work. And for that, Initial the movement is required, initial speed is required. In missiles also, the after the first stage, we are going to use the ramjet engine after having the particular propulsion. And initially, when the air enters into the ramjet engine, which is at a supersonic speed where the Mach number is greater than 1 at the inlet. And here the when air is flowing through the passage and that will be gone decreasing thereby its volume will be decreases and thereby compression of the air is taking place by the aerodynamic design of this engine and where the air speed is decreases to the subsonic speed and it's during the compression the its Mach number is less than 1 and that is a subsonic speed and later it will enter into a combustion chamber where the fuel is injected from the fuel injector. And already the compressed air is having the higher temperature and pressure. As soon as fuel enters into it, it will be start ignited and get combusted in the combustion zone. And there is a flame holder also is provided in order to arrest it. And where the burnt flue gases are produced after the combustion of the fuel in the combustion zone. And the burnt flue gases will have the higher pressure and temperature. Those will move to the nozzle, which is a converging and diverging section and a throat. And where it will be again having the uh, decreased cross section, it will pass where the nozzle throat. Right? That portion it will have the mark number one that means sonic speed the speed is equal to the speed of the sound then after that it will comes out through the diverging section of the nozzle with a higher velocity and that is a exhaust and which is having the mark number greater than one that is at a supersonic speed when the exhaust gas is coming out of out of this nozzle at a supersonic speed at the same speed it will push the this engine in the forward direction and the which vehicle is connected with this engine that also move in the forward direction with a supersonic speed the example how we can take in the balloon filled with the air whenever if you leave its mouth the balloon will be move upward direction okay by flowing the air in the downward direction the same example by that one here the gas 
outcoming that will be at a supersonic speed therefore the engine will move with a supersonic speed in the forward direction and this is about the uh, how it works then we will take that is what are the different steps are there for this uh, working of the ramjet engine and also we will take that is the working principle of this one is a newton's third law the action and reaction are equal and opposite the action is gas flow out of the nozzle the reaction is opposite motion of the ramjet engine we'll take the step by step working later and also by considering an example of a, one of the missile we'll take the similar to that of the brahmos 2 missile which is a supersonic uh, missile where all the components concerned to the missile are considered here here this one m46 continuous rod warhead in the missile the warhead is there and at the entrance the aerodynamic design for the compression it is used and air is enters uh, at what speed this uh, engine is moving in the forward direction that will increases the compression also that's why the compression again efficiency also it will increases and there after the compression it will comes here here with the subsonic speed and that goes through this passage to the combustion zone and also in the missile the electronics compartment for the controlling air turbine hydraulic pump is used that is turbine run by the air that additional components is used air turbine fuel jet the air compressed air is used to run this hydraulic pump as well as the fuel pump and the fuel is tank is here from that it will extract and supply to the pilot injector through the pilot injector to the this combustion zone then main injector again and pilot burner and the combustion zone here actually the combustion is taking place and also the flame holder or a flame arrester we can call that burnt gases should not go outside in order to heat the outside surface of this missile and therefore here only the flame will be held and that will be producing the burnt flue gases which will be moving in the backward direction at a supersonic speed through the nozzle and thereby the missile will be move forward at a supersonic speed and usually the second stage of the this uh, missile will be the this ramjet engine the first stage the initial propulsion it will be provided by the some solid fuel and later onwards it will be propelled by using this supersonic ramjet engine here the step by step how it works detail will take first one is the air intake the ramjet intake draws in high pressure air from the region in front of the air cap <coughs> second compression the intakes shock waves slows the air to the subsonic speed and thereby the compression of the air taking place third one fuel injection fuel is sprayed into the combustion chamber where the air is entering and the combustion is taking place that is the fourth one combustion the fuel and compressor air ignite okay, that fuel will be ignited by the compressor air creating a high pressure high temperature gas the generation of the high pressure and high temperature gas taking place fifth one exhaust the hot exhaust gases are accelerated through the exhaust nozzle creating a thrust that will produce a thrust to move the forward that vehicle here an example of the supersonic missile we can take the high speed air feeds engine the fuel cools engine walls fuel air combustion is taking place here energized fuel will be again the some addition of the fuel will be taking place and here the burnt flue gases which is coming out of the nozzle in the uh, backward direction at the same force it will move in the missile will be move in the forward direction that is a, one of the example and advantages and disadvantages of this engine will take the advantages are ramjets are lighter simpler than the turbojet engines where the turbofan and jet engines are used because there the compressors and the gas turbines are used therefore those are complex as well as the heavier one 
because they don't have the compressors ramjets can operate at high pressures and temperatures at high pressure as well as the temperature it will work and thereby producing a supersonic speed ramjets also have the high load capacity they can carry the high fuel loads ramjets operate at speeds of mark 2 that is twice the speed of the sound and higher even though higher than 2 mark number this ramjet can operate and here we can say that one uh, mark number 1.22 1.225 whatever the operation range is there that is the supersonic speed and up to that only this operates and usually the ramjet engine is having the higher efficiency when the mark number is 223 3 range between that one that having the higher efficiency and whenever if the behind this five mark number it Because it will become see inefficient. There, the scramjet engine we are going to use. This advantage, ramjets can only produce thrust when aircraft is moving. Initial movement is required for this one. Even though aircraft, missiles, spacecraft, whatever it may be, there initial movement is required. Ramjets are inefficient at speeds above Mach five. that I, i already mentioned the above the mac 5 it is inefficient there the scramjets we have to use ramjets can be worn at the nozzle due to high temperature due to the high temperature of the burnt flue gases the nozzle may be worn out and therefore the high temperature withstanding materials we have to use at the nozzle as well as the at the surface where due to the friction the uh, temperature also increases this is about the ramjet engine and this particularly used in the aircrafts missiles and other applications like spacecrafts also we are going to use in the similar application as that of the jet engine but at the supersonic speed and this is the improvement of the jet engine and already as we know that one this is works up to the mark number 5 speed and above that one we have to use the scramjet and already the jet engine working i have discussed in the previous session and link for the same i am going to give in the description you can refer and watch that also and further i am going to take in the next session scramjet working and that will enhance presently what the this uh, india uh, other india and other countries are using this scramjet engine for increase the speed of the missiles as well as the some of the fighter aircrafts thanks for watching if you like share subscribe and comment